On today's video, we're going to learn how to hook up two LED mirrors and how to wire them to a single existing fixture that you have removed. Here is our controller and then these are our cables, so that's going to go flush against this. We're going to show you exactly what to do. Stay tuned for the whole video. All right, so I'm going to show you how to feed the wires. So the existing fixture was up here. So we obviously need to get tiles to finish that up. Notwithstanding, we need to connect basically the mirror wire to this. And then if we have two mirrors, then we need to connect this one to this one, this one to this one. We don't want to do any cutting here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and fish a wire and we'll bury it behind right over here. We're going to create a trench. So you have to go and dig into the drywall. Now watch out for pipes. So we see there's a pipe here. There's a stud here. So the stud you're going to have to chip in about a quarter inch just so you have cable flush against it. This is our cable and all we're doing is just placing this in here. We're going to put some glue in here so it doesn't move around. You can just use a chisel or screwdriver to get it in and it should look something like this. We are using 8x fast grab. Now we just press this in. And we're done. So one, two. Now, in these cans, there are usually these little holes. Now, these are called punch rounds. So all we need to do is just punch one of these out or one of these out. We may also want to punch a hole in here. And since it's not tiled for now, we might as well do it. We're going to go now feed this into that hole that we punched out through here. See, it's going to come out here like that. So now we just keep feeding it down, down, down. And now we should be able to feel it with our fingers if it's here. Yep, there it is. And now we can pull it out, trip this cable, this cable, and hook it all up. This is the first mirror. So the green is going to get connected to the two coppers, the white to the whites, and then the black to the blacks. So let's just join them up, and we're going to be using these to do it. We put electrical tape around each one just in case. Now let's move on to the second mirror. With the second mirror, we're gonna use these special wire connectors. It's, it's one to one. This is a very easy way to connect two cables together without soldering, without using electrical tape, anything. This is all plastic assembly, so this will work on the outside. All you do is you strip a wire, you press this inside, right, as far as it goes, and then you just press down, and then this will keep it in. Then you go and you connect the other end, and lock it in place. There you go, and make sure you tug it to make sure this doesn't move. And then they can very easily just always release it, which is super cool. These types of wire connectors are available in different sizes, which means you can have a single to single, a double to double, a triple to triple, or even four to four. They're rated all the way up to 32 amps. And of course, you can reuse these as well because they snap and can be removed. We're gonna go and leave the last mirror for the end, and we're going to now connect this wire that remember going behind a wall and it's coming out through here into here and we're going to add power to it so all we need to do is connect this to that screw always ground first then the white to the white and then the black to black and we should have power all right so everything's hooked in just press it into the can and let's see oh there we go and now we should be able to dim it there we go perfect all right so it all works. Just to get an idea of what it looks like in the back. So here is our controller and then these are our cables. So that's going to go flush against this. And you can see that we have about three quarters to an inch space. So this is more than enough for these to fit behind against the wall. So that's basically how we're going to press it. All right. So here it is. First one's in. Let's go and connect the second. Green is your copper. So this goes into here. Press down. Let's get the neutral in. Black in, and we should have power. Put that in. And power! I mean light. And by default, you have two buttons here. This is your main light. This is your defog. And then holding this is going to dim it. So within three seconds of turning on the light, you can circle through the three different colors. See that? This is our mix. Now we're gonna turn off the green lights. And with this light, which is a mix between the warm and the daylight, it's actually quite, this is like right now darkness. So you can see that this is how much you can so see. This is how to hook up 
two LED mirrors from one single fixture. And again, light switch, if I press this, it's gonna turn them both off. Turn them on. Now when you turn on the LED mirror, just remember, they're not automatically gonna turn on. You have to go and press the switch to turn them on. And when you do, they still come to full brightness. So you're gonna have to go and dim them if you want them on. So what I would do is I'll just leave them on. Again, you get over 50,000 hours, leave them on, maybe set a sensor. Uh, like that's a time sensor that this whole thing turns off overnight. Otherwise I leave them on. So again, both look really nice. They're 32 by 24. They do come in different sizes to fit any need that you may have. So do I like them? I definitely do. It definitely makes a massive statement in your bathroom. So that's the video. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one.